Were these mayors pretending when they cut police spending? Yep, they slashed police budgets, but their own protection, they decided to fudge it. This one's going to piss you off, too. According to a new report from Forbes magazine, don't miss their this year's swimsuit issue, Joey. The cover has Stuart Varney in a thong. <laughs> Mayors and other officials in roughly 20 cities around the country defunded police while spending millions on security details for themselves. In their defense, it's gotten really dangerous lately. The one thing these cities have in common, they're all being run into the ground by Democratic mayors. A nonprofit group filed Freedom of Information Act requests and found which city offices had police details and how much it costs. Some lowlights. In Chicago, home of murder, the city spent $3.4 million for 22 officers last year to guard unnamed city officials. Baltimore spent $3.6 million for 14 cops to cover the mayor, the state's attorney, and the police commissioner. And in SF, the, sp the city spent $2.6 million last year to protect Mayor London Breed. So she's protected, but of course the stores aren't. Here's two dudes casually walking out of a TJ Maxx in L.A. with arms full of crap. It looks like they're boarding a flight. If they got any more relaxed, you'd have to carry them as well. And why not? A new law makes thefts below $950 bucks worth of stuff a misdemeanor instead of a felony. So it seems California is now number one in America for theft and tourism. Here's the human hairstyle Gavin Newsom today on his crumbling state. <laughs> There are some people that say some of the policies championed by Democrats like Prop 47 and others are making crime worse. Yeah, the, what do you say to that? Well, the evidence doesn't back it up. The last three decades, we've actually seen a significant decline in uh, crime in the state. You're seeing crime increase in red states that had no criminal justice reform commensurate with the crime rates that we're seeing here in California. Mm, something tells me if you stop considering crimes worth pursuing, of course you're going to have a documented decline in crime because you're not documenting it. Fact is, there's, there's more substance in that guy's hair than what's underneath it. Yes. Emily, do these mayors and leaders deserve security if they deny it for others? No. You guys, in Seattle, Mayor Durkin, she has two, two details that protect her. The, the a uniform division and then whatever sort of comes with being a mayor. She has a $7.5 million house. And here's the thing, of that uniformed detail, the, the regular officers of Seattle, the police department in the precinct, if one calls in sick or, or calls out, they prioritize her detail still. They won't take away cops from that. So it leaves that, the actual precinct, the actual precinct and protection of citizens, even more lean and understaffed than defunding already does. And my favorite quote, because there's no cell service up there in her neighborhood, apparently, and there's no bathroom. So one, one cop said, literally, and I quote, you just sit there and stare and think about how <laughs> your life is for four or five hours, <laughs> end quote. So then the resident socialist psycho of our city council, this Swant, she led a protest up to the mayor's house, chanting about how they need even more communism there in the city. So then it got real, and the mayor came out, called it a riot, and then they sued each other. So it was like this crazy infighting, because yes, when it comes to their front door is only when the mayors protest. And final point, I just have to say that Adam Andrzejewski is the guy behind like finding all this stuff out, and he's constantly exposing the government's payments and everything, the, the, the payroll and all the numbers. Everywhere that our tax dollars go, and that's the level of transparency that we will never, unfortunately, get from that white-domed mausoleum. I felt like I just said. watched an episode <laughs> of Real Housewives of Seattle. Yes. Right? I got one chuckle out of that. I think our audience is on drugs. Cast well, me. I got a chuckle because she pretty much described my entire bodyguard career. <laughs> you spent a lot of time staring in the rearview mirror going, you were better than this. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You're watching someone else live their life. <laughs> and that's what you're doing. Yes, there's a moment where you throw someone down the stairs. And <laughs> yes, there's a moment when you get to beat people up. For the most part, though, it's you staring in a mirror going, I had a plan. But the movie, <laughs> the so movie. It's like, it's like being in the Marine Corps. But the yeah, movie, yeah, my body. But what's the movie? Yeah, that's the not bodyguard? real. No that one sleeps <laughs> with the bodyguard unless they're really mentally destroyed. Pat, Patty Hearst married her bodyguard. Yeah, they, all, you... yeah, they all do. Oh, they all do. Not the jobs I got. <laughs> So, <laughs> Snoop didn't fall in love with you? No, Snoop didn't fall in love with me. Neither did, did Boss Klum Lady. Did you know? for Bodyguard? Who? Who? Heidi Klum did, right? Okay, the point of the show is not to, not to, to call me out. <laughs> like, you don't get to do that. You can't. I'm the expert. Any you of you Bodyguard? Any of you? Being a bodyguard. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> you're the only one. No one ever fell in love on a Bodyguard job except <laughs> Kevin Costner, and he's Kevin 
Costner, <laughs> so who wouldn't fall in love with him? It's true, he is gorgeous. And you were all racist for calling me out on, obviously, my issue with never oh. being loved as a bodyguard. Shame on you all. Joey, um, is, you said you're going to run for president. This is a great example of why it's great to be a politician, because you, <laughs> you get... You said run, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> you get elected to become immune oh. from the laws you enact. Oh. <laughs> trying to hold it together, are you? Like, this gal it's falling apart. Me. This is me running right now. Like, I'm running. There I am. That's all the running <laughs> I got in me. And uh, I, I missed that question. So I'll just I'll Yeah, just, just say what you want to say. <laughs> Let's is, get to the C block. <laughs> That's my second big word. I, was, I had a third one now. I done forgot it. Listen, this goes right back to the, to the previous argument. Rules for thee, not for me. It, yep. You know, don't... We'll take away your guns, we'll take away your freedom, we'll make you wear a mask, we'll take away your money and give it to somebody else, but don't try to apply those rules to me. Right. But at the end of the day, you know, you get what you ask for. If the if the new rule is 950 bucks, I mean, like, is a gallon of milk less than 950 bucks in California anymore? Like, no. that's going to be the, the end yeah, result is everything's going to be priced <laughs> above this arbitrary threshold that these idiots inflation. in California have created. Shoplifting <laughs> inflation. It, it's going to be a new financial term. You're going to think the DOD's buying everything. You All know, the toilets are $900. You know who and needs the, protection, though? I oh. think they should use that money and help protect those elderly Asian women. Women, yes! The, did you See that on Canal poor? Street, Saturday, yeah. ten thirty in the morning. Guy goes in, pushes this. She's gonna, she's yeah. gonna die. It, the Asian mom who's in a coma is probably right. never going to wake up. up. Yeah, and they she said was she mugged was. in a subway at so ten thirty in the morning. Using that twenty-three million dollars to protect them. Still haven't caught the guy. Buy no. every one of them a pistol. I'm sorry, they yes. can't say that on TV. That's yes, what I can. believe. That's that's the Second Amendment. Every one of them should have the right and opportunity to carry a firearm. And an armed society is a polite society. Mm -hmm. I don't want anyone to get shot, but if somebody has to get shot, let it be the people who try to kill an elderly person for no good reason. Yeah, and and by and I'm not joking. The guys. <laughs>